Today we are opening the Obsidian Flames ETB. Now it's been a while, um, not just with Pokemon, but with uh, other products. Oh yeah, but with uh, other products as well. Um, it's been a while with Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, some new releases coming out that are pretty keen on. Um, Pokemon 2, it's been a while. Um, you know, life's been busy uh, is all I can really say to that one. Which is unfortunate, but it is how it is. But we're back nonetheless. Some obsidian flames. Um, not going to show the outside of the cardboard. I don't think anyone really cares about that. And, you know, it's just the... Uh, I don't know what you call this, a rule book and... Um, sort of the cards you can get. Uh, that's really it. So, I don't usually buy... ETBs. I'm not like one of those guys who sort of gets uh, the ETB for every single set. I'd like to be, but you know, you've got to be uh, a little bit cautious with uh, how you, um, what, what, what card products you buy, uh, really, um, when you have a limited budget at least. Um, so, yeah, it is how it is. Uh, take that code card away. I've got the, uh, the inserts, which is like sort of bent, even even the inserts are poor printing quality. We've got the promo card, uh, the Brick of Energy, I don't care about energies. The sleeves, quite cool, always use more sleeves. Oh, this is new. The counters, are these the new counters? I've never seen these before, these are metal. Oh, these are plastic. They used to get those um stupid cardboard ones. This is a much better improvement. This is a big improvement. I'm a big fan of this. Uh, over, over the uh, the old version. Uh, what else? Yeah, they got the dice, the usual dice. Okay, so got this, oh, that's a big, look at this Charmander promo card number. Oh no, oh, it is promo. Uh, number forty-four. Um, I honestly, I had no clue what this one looked like before, but here it is. It's not not what I was expecting because obviously it's like a character rare sort of um. Hollow, I guess you could say, and uh, I was I was expecting more of a um a different one, a different sort of hollow, but nonetheless, and um, we got our packs. It should be eight. Why is, why is, what? Why is there nine? The ETP is coming with nine. Oh well, I just checked the back of the box, and it is nine. So that's quite interesting. I always I always thought it was eight, uh, but there you go. Ah, oh, wouldn't be a Pokemon opening without me struggling. Through the packs. Alright. What is it? Four to the front. And then... No. And then... No. What? What? Is there no energy? Oh! Of course, this is our first Scarlet Violet set. So, um... There's... Oh, they've changed how the hollows work, haven't they? Alright, we're going to have to figure out... We did... Four to the front, so we'll put it back to normal. That way we can just figure out what is going on. Okay, so we have Litwick. Oh, Chal Charmander, nice. Dratini, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Poltergeist. So I'm pretty sure each pack now has uh, one hollow and two reverses, correct? So we have Totoscrewl. Yeah, so this is our reverse. Crabominable. Crabominable. Togepi. And then, yes, our rare Toxic is a tree. And then you can see the um, the border here. Look at the, look at the off, set, off cut on that. And then, okay, so there's just an energy on the end, which is numbered, actually, which is quite interesting. Is that numbered, or is that just um, SBN004? I guess it's numbered, but it's not really numbered in a set. It's interesting how they've done that. Still... Who cares? It's energies. We all have like a brick of energies. They're not never going to be collectible. You know, never. No one's ever ticking off the energies. Unless they're holographic energies. But holographic energies are a little bit different. Okay, so code card for someone at home. I don't want that. Energy, fire. And then Oddish. Finizen. Dog. That thing. Oh, Nine Tails. Nice. Naruto. Dug Trio. Houndoom. Uh, Bear Tick as our reverse. Pidgey as our next reverse. Togekiss as our holographic. So is every rare a holo these days? Is that just how it works? And then if we get lucky, it's 
instead of being a hollow, it will be something else. I must say, I'm a big fan of the two reverses in a set. Um, I know some people were saying it's going to like devalue reverses, but I don't really think so. I think it's just going to, I think it's going to do the opposite. Because a lot more people are going to realise that reverses are um, more achievable these days. And so I think a lot of people try and do a master set instead of a uh, just a regular set. So we have Snubble. Cryogonal. It's quite a nice cool card. And then Gita as our rare. And you see again, this whole... And it must be from the same sheet, but... The borders are just... Poor. It's poor. So, well, how many packs have we done? Three packs? Three. We've done three packs. Okay, we've done three packs, and we haven't got any hits so far. We've got, obviously, rares, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, that was, like, already open, almost. But I'm pretty sure that's sort of um, in every pack, so I don't think we've really, we can really say we've got anything. Obviously, we're looking for those uh, Crystal EX cards, the, the Charizard and the like. Um, obviously that's why everyone, that's what everyone's looking for in the uh, Obsidian Flame set. So, I don't know if everyone's noticed, or anyone's noticed yet, I, I have seen a few people point this out, but I don't think it's super common knowledge. Every single era, Sun, Moon, uh, Scarlet, Violet, Sword, Shield, etc, etc, they all have a fire set. I don't know if everyone's noticed this, so, uh, it was Darkness Ablaze, Burning Shadows, Obsidian Flames, always a set that's dedicated to Charizards. And this is the one for um, Scarlet Violet. And it's always around the second or third, third, fourth set. Quite interesting. It's quite interesting how the set's sort of repeating in a pattern. But anyway, getting getting ahead of myself. So we have uh, Grivard, Gimmit, and then, ooh, nice. A Darkrai Holographic to finish it off. Very nice. And one thing I've noticed as well. Uh, in, in Japanese, they usually uh, they usually do in the corner here, you know, the set number or, or like a set code, sort of like how Yu-Gi-Oh does it. Um, but in English, it's traditionally been a symbol. Um, older Japanese sets used to be a symbol, but they got they changed that over quite a while ago. Um, it's nice to see the English Pokemon going that route as well. It just makes it just makes card collecting a little bit easier because then you just say, hey, I'm look I'm looking for OBF uh, number one three six, you know instead of having to try and figure out what the symbol actually means, uh, or what set the symbol's actually from. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a nice addition, I think, to the uh, to the set, um, or to the to the card collecting scene. Uh, we have Toxis Tree as our reverse holographic, and then Belly Bolt, and Skyzer as our rare. So, yeah, still haven't really got anything. I mean, the Dark is nice, but I would like to see some uh, some nice shiny cards. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about the new holographics. I wish they went something a little bit, a little bit cooler. Um, I don't know, I just, oh, Charmeleon, nice. I just feel like, uh, yeah, for example, this is a great example. You cannot, oh, yeah, on screen it's quite obvious. Although, even on screen, it doesn't really look that holographic, does it? I mean, if we compare side by side, you can tell the pattern is different, right? That's the only way I can tell that the dark ones are holographic, in all honesty. They have like a little bit of a shimmer, but like, I mean... Oh, so regular cards, they have a little bit of a shimmer anyway. So it's really hard to... I don't know if I'm the only one. Comment down below if, if you have trouble with the darkness ones as well. But, I mean, like, this one's quite obvious. It's, it's quite obviously a hollow. But the dark ones, darkness ones... Yeah, they're tough, they're tough. And then Palafin tend us off. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I feel like they could have done better. I feel like, I don't know if it's an improvement from the last set. I feel like it's more of the more of the same, to be entirely honest. But, uh, at least they didn't go backwards, I guess. But it's hard to go backwards when I, I'm pretty sure. The Scarlet, uh, no, Sword Shield uh, Hollows were probably, arguably, some of the worst. Uh, the reverses, anyway. Um... But I feel like people don't really care, so they, they don't really... Like, obviously, Reverse Hollows, not a lot of people collect them or care about them. Everyone just wants the regulars to complete their set, and if they get a Reverse Hollow, that's just nice sort of thing. But anyway, uh, Sharpedo. Ooh, nice. Our first actual hit. Houndor, 
character rare. And then clay doll rare. So we've got two packs. And we have no gifts so far. Man, I was... I had a really good feeling that we we're going to get at least one Charizard, but... Oh, I guess our Charizard... I don't think I've ever pulled a Charizard now I think about it. I've opened up... I wouldn't say a lot of other sets, I mean... But I haven't opened up none either, you know what I mean? Oh, we've got something on the end. I accidentally spoiled it, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, think, I don't think I've ever pulled a Charizard, in all honesty. Um, Spoink... As our uh, reverse holocaust. Ooh! That is a hit and a half. Talking about energies that we want to see. This is one. Two, number 230 out of 197. Secret rare gold energy. This is very nice. And why is there like a smudge in the middle of it? You see that? Look at that smudge. It's like a dent or a smudge or something. That's, that's nice energy though. And then on the end. Okay, so... Oh, it takes the it takes the spot of the um of the uh, the reverse. Yeah, it's been so long since um since I've uh, sleeved some cards up. Actually, so that's nice. We've got one hit, but I would like to see another one in this final pack. I'd like to see that Charizard, of course. I think I think only, I think two hits from. Oh, we got something. It's not the Charizard. Gold picks, Phantom, Whooper, Buzil. Excadrill, Pidgeotto, Dragonair, nice. Uh, Simus Toad is our reverse holographic. Bronzor is another reverse holographic. And on the end, oh, it could have been the Charizard. It was the slot to be the Charizard. It could have been. It could, what could have been? Ah. Oh. So we got two hits. Two hits out of the whole entire set, uh, the booster box. I'm quite happy with the the fire energy. It's uh, an amazing card. Um, super shiny. I love it. But only two hits from the whole ETB. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad, if I do say so. Um, I feel like uh, I feel like that could have been a lot better, to be honest. But that's all right. Uh, I'll give away this code card that's sitting by my desk. At the end of the video, if you got any of the code cards, remember to comment down below if you did. I'll be uh, quite happy to know that sign of the community did actually get the cards. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the, uh, the next opening. Thank you.